on June 10, a political prisoner serving a life sentence in Bahrain died after contracting COVID-19. The tiny kingdom in the Persian Gulf has come under pressure from human rights organizations over poor prison conditions. Since the March outbreak of the disease in Bahrain's main prison, Jau, families have been holding protests demanding the release of political prisoners and better conditions, all in vain. The 48-year-old prisoner, a Shia Muslim, was taken from prison to Salmania Hospital on May 29 and was placed on a ventilator in an ICU unit. Shortly after, he slipped into a coma and died a few days later. Hussein Barakat was sentenced in 2018, along with 53 other individuals, to life in prison in a mass trial of 138 Bahraini citizens due to their opposition to the regime's decades-old discrimination and tyranny. He was also stripped of his citizenship, which was later restored by royal decree. Reportedly, there were 15 prisoners in Barakat's cell, which had only 10 beds, hence some of the inmates had to sleep on the floor. Bahraini human rights activist Maryam Khawaja, whose own father is imprisoned in Jau, said Barakat told his wife during his last phone call that he could not breathe and was going to die. The fact is, since the outbreak of the coronavirus inside Bahrain prisons, preventative measures inside prisons have not been implemented, and the authorities continue the policy of deliberate medical neglect. They are known, they are known for their uh, unhealthy environment and uh, lack of basic necessities, especially at this dire uh, time and at this uh, crucial time uh, of uh, the pandemic outbreak and those prisoners, as we know, uh, normal patients, the people who are outside the prison uh, suffer a lot. So what about those who are in prison who already uh, are suffering? Meanwhile, dissolved Bahraini opposition group al Wafaq has been calling for the release of prisoners of conscience since the start of the pandemic. According to Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain, a second outbreak at Jao began on the 22nd of May and has infected an estimated 60% of the 255 political prisoners housed at Building 12 of the prison. An earlier outbreak in March saw at least 140 inmates infected with the virus. Bird estimates that the total number of COVID cases in both Jao and the Dry Dock Detention Center has far exceeded 200 cases since March. Uh, this, uh, of course, amounts to a deliberate killing, to a, a political assassination, uh, as if the government of Bahrain, uh, if not uh, murdering those prisoners, uh, during torture, during uh, as, uh, during uh, executions, it's now uh, dealing with the uh, with the outbreak of the corona uh, coronavirus pandemic as an opportunity to revenge against those political prisoners merely because those political prisoners, those peaceful protesters, uh, political uh, activists, uh, human rights defenders, uh, clerics. Speaking from inside the Dry Dock Detention Center, inmate Ali Al-Haji said, most prisoners are mistreated, physically and mentally. It's always the same thing, torture and a lack of proper medical care. Particular concern has been raised about the aging leaders of the 2011 pro-democracy uprising, including Hassan Moshema, who is in his 80s and suffers serious health conditions, placing him at high risk from coronavirus. 
the only crime of those political political prisoners is that they have called for an elected government, for a constitutional monarchy, uh, for uh, for a new constitution which uh, which guarantees uh, their rights, their uh, freedoms, which uh, tolerate all citizens. Uh, equally. In the words of Hussein Abdullah, executive director of ADHRB, following this tragic death, the Biden administration and the UK government must make clear to their Bahraini allies that holding political opponents as hostages will no longer be tolerated. The Bahraini government deal with the political prisoners more than uh, 3,000 political prisoners as hostages. Uh, it neglects their rights uh, merely because those people have once uh, took to the streets and called for their basic freedoms, their basic rights. So uh, it deals, it, it, it's the same practice, uh, the same practice as the practices of the Zionist uh, occupiers uh, against the Palestinians. Uh, they have a lot of commonalities between uh, between between those uh, two parties. So uh, they deal with those people as they are uh, hostages. They neglect their rights. Hussein Barakat's son Ali Barakat is also serving a 22-year sentence in jail after being convicted on political charges in a separate case when he was just 16. Despite an earlier outbreak of COVID-19 at the prison in March and April 2021, the prison administration had still failed to distribute face masks or hand sanitizer to protect prisoners. Overcrowding in Bahrain's prisons is a long-standing concern which makes social distancing impossible. In early April, inmates at Bahrain's Jao prison protested against a lack of medical treatment and fearing for their lives after the death of another inmate. Prison authorities instead threw stun grenades, beating inmates with batons to force them back inside their overcrowded cells. The inmates have been protesting about conditions of detention, in particular the lack of access to medical treatment. The sit-in began on 5th April, after a political prisoner, Abbas Mal Allah, died after reportedly being denied timely access to essential health care. The lack of health care in the overcrowded by rainy prisons has been an issue for years, but has become a chronic problem during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hussein Barakat's death could have been avoided had the Bahraini regime heeded calls to set free political prisoners so as to prevent the spread of the virus. Uh, victim Hussein Barakat hasn't been the first uh, victim which uh, who passed inside the Bahraini prisoners. We have a lot of cases. We have martyr Karim Fakhrawi uh, who uh, died in prison and uh, because of torture. We have the case of Sayyid uh, uh, Qadim al-Sahlawi. Also, we have the case of uh, martyr Muhammad Sahwan uh, who had like uh, mostly 80 80 sharp nails in his head uh, because uh, uh, because of the riot police. Uh, there are a lot of cases uh, who of prisoners who passed uh, uh, away inside uh, those notorious uh, prisons uh, merely because uh, of uh, torture of uh, medical neglection. With overcrowded cells, unsanitary conditions, and a lack of preventative measures, this disastrous outbreak seems to continue and claim more lives of those whose only crime was calling for freedom and democracy.